to the Civil War Guru Show. My name is Steve Munson, and I am the Civil War Guru. And today we have another wonderful grouping for our, our Unsung Hero series. And this is a southern grouping from a gentleman from Georgia, Jasper Goodrich. He's with the thir 63rd Georgia Infantry, also known as the Oglethorpe Infantry out of Georgia. And we have his Adams revolver case that he bought, and then we have his diary, we have a couple of his United Confederate Veteran badges, we have a CDV of him, and also a book written about the Oglethorpe Infantry. This uh, particular pistol is a cased Adams revolver made in Massachusetts, and he wrote in his diary in 1861 that he needed to purchase a weapon for his protection, his personal protection, and he wrote in there that he paid $18 for it. So we're going to give a little bit of uh, uh, history on him, and you're going to be able to view all of his artifacts. And these are direct from the family, and this is the kind of stuff I like for you guys to see. And Brennan Cole here is going to get up close on our artifacts so that you can get some, you know, real good views of them. And this is the kind of things we like to bring in. This particular grouping probably bring twelve, fifteen thousand dollars if it was on the market. So from the Civil War guru, enjoy. All right, we're looking at the Massachusetts Arms Pistol that belonged to Jasper Goodrich. And these were made in Massachusetts in the 1850s, late 1850s. And what we have here is the original case and the pistol itself, small caliber pistol. There's some of the original balls with it. Here we have, and I'll pull it out, is some caps. They're imported from London. I don't know if there's any caps in or not. Yes, there's the percussion caps. And these are the caps that go on the nipples. And we'll put that back in there. We have the original powder flask that came with the case. Smooth. You can see it's been used. Normally these are made by Dixon, but this one's unmarked. So we'll put it back in there. And we have the bullet mode, which is brass, and most of them are brass. You open it up, and you have the round, and then you have the pointed, and you pour that lead in through the top, and then you slid this over, and it cut the excess lead off. And then you would open it up, and the ball or the projectile would come out. Also, you would have, in the case, a wrench like this with a screwdriver, and this is the, the part that's used on the nipple right here. If you had to replace the nipple, what's a nipple wrench? And let's pick the revolver up here for a second. And as you can see, it's got a lot of finish on it. He didn't use it very much. You know, it's a four-digit serial number. A lot of nice finish on it. Checker grips. We're going to roll it over here on the top. I don't know how good the lighting is in here. But this says Massachusetts Arms Revolver. And it says uh, Chickabee. Chicopee Falls, Massachusetts. First patent dates 1856 and 1857. This is the tamping lever. It pulls up like that. When you put the, the paper and the projectile in there and you, you tamp it in there. And But it's a nice condition, overall condition. And there's a pin, you can pull it out and disassemble it. And this is a cylinder lock. But just real nice condition, all original. And it's this way we like to see them. We'll close the box so you can see it had a lock on it. And there it is. Now I'm going to set this to the side and we'll look at some of the other artifacts here. Alright, here we have a Carta Vista CDV of Jasper uh, Goodrich here. And this was taken about 1880. And here's two United Confederate Veteran badges and here's one uh, where they had a convention that says right here Macon Georgia and that was in the 1880s and here's another one which depicts his name Jasper H. Goodrich Company A 63rd Volunteer Infantry CSA and that's a silver uh, pin there and then we have a letter that was written and various contents in it and mailed to his family then here is 
one of the best pieces in here is a diary and you can see it says diary 1861 and there's his initials right there JHG 1861 and these were sold you know in towns and and but some of the set settlers that come around and here's the entry on the Adams revolver where he paid $18 and that was January of 61. And you can see it. It says paid. And then it goes on through different campaigns he went through. Very interesting reading. Mentions these Oglethorpe infantry, which he was attached to. And this guy went all the way through the war, you know, Army of Northern Virginia. And he surrendered in North Carolina with Joe Johnston. A real nice diary. Chronicles his history in the Civil War as a private. It's hard to see. We're going to go to the book next. It's written by a, a, a Walter Clark. And it's called Under the Stars and Bars. And the, the front's kind of faded. It says, Memories of Four Years Service of the Oglethorpes. Augusta, Georgia. And this was written prior to uh, his death in 1914. And in here, let's see if we can get the front here. There, you can actually see it better. And Walter Clark, uh, it was printed in 1900. He was the orderly sergeant for the Oglethorpe Infantry. And what's unique about this is, of course, it, it tells all the different battles they went, donning the, the gray, and all the when he transferred them around. And he wrote real nice stories, but in the end, he puts in the back here. Here's a, uh, he knew this guy personally, wrote the book. And here it is here. Well, there's a couple of these. This is the Honorable Walter Clark, and that's the guy that wrote the book, and they were friends. And this was, you know, some accolades about him, and when he passed, it was his obituary. November of 1914. And also in the back of the book, some I guess some other guys that he knew. There's several of these in there. And there's Walter Clark. Uh, and these were done, Confederate veterans, when they passed away, they would post pictures. So this is a nice book that goes with it. But this guy, he, he went through all the battles in, in, in the Army of Northern Virginia, all the way down through the Georgia campaigns. And then surrendered, like I say, with Joe Johnson in, in uh, North Carolina. But this is a wonderful grouping. You got all his his war paraphernalia here, and that chronicles what he did, and his case pistol, which is extremely nice. And and this is the way I like to see it. I like to see it right out of the family. And this is what the old guru likes to bring to you: fresh stuff to where you can see this stuff. Is this is kind of things that belong in museums. So from the Civil War Guru, have a great day.